Good morning, I'm Jordan Thorpe. The time now is 825. A volunteer fire chief is dead after battling a blaze in Elizabeth Barrow. That fire broke out around 1 this morning in a vacant bar on North Water Street in Elizabeth Barrow. 56-year-old Standa Carlo, who also was a borough councilman, apparently discovered the fire and called 911. But before help could arrive, the Carlo attempted to enter the building to see if anyone was trapped inside. He apparently was overcome by smoke and fire crews discovered him unresponsive at the scene. The fire marshal is investigating the cause of that fire. And police are investigating the deaths of a man and woman in their 40s in Washington County. Their nude bodies were found last night in an apartment over High Tops Bar and Grill in Blonox. The man who found them says it appears they've been shot. Police are not saying if the murders are a double homicide or murder-suicide. And U.S. Airways is dedicating a new plane today and the logo on the wing might look familiar. The airline is dedicating a Steelers plane at Pittsburgh International Airport and Steelers fans are invited to this event. It's taking place at 9.15 this morning at U.S. Airways Hangar No. 3. You can take the cargo exit off Route 60 if you'd like to be there for that dedication. And right now we're going to give you a look at what we're facing for a morning commute. Traffic is backing up inbound on Route 51. Approaching the Liberty Tubes, expect up to 20 minutes delay there. Inbound on the Parkway West, expect a drive time of about 20 minutes with traffic all the way back upside Green Tree Hill. And the Parkway West outbound is jammed as well, thanks to the construction around the Campbell's Run Road exit. If you're heading inbound on the Parkway East, expect a drive time of about 30 minutes with traffic backed up from Church Hill all the way to the Squirrel Hill Tunnels. 827 is the time now. I'm Jordan Thorpe. Stay tuned for the CBS Early Show coming up right after the break.